Yo, Sash. Yo, Sash. my nigga for beats. It's a dub for all y'all niggas being new to nigga. We don't do that remix shit. Don't remix my shit. You need Check it out now. The rap game is full of sharks, people. Ain't no favors motherfucking giving out, okay? Now, let me let y'all know how the game works, okay? You get a hot song, okay? And then you see a big rapper jumps on it. You see a Wiz Khalifa. You see a Nicki Minaj or Drake jumps on your fucking song. Basically, they just took your fucking song, nigga. Debo shit, okay? They usually will tell you, if you want this new and improved hot version with my verse on it, even though your version was already hot without him, but more people want to hear your version with the celeb, okay? Or they want to hear a remix. They're going to just say, we got to own your whole, your whole song, so we got to get paid from the whole motherfucking shit, okay? So sometimes while you might think you're getting a stimulus package, you're kind of getting raped low-key. All right, not only that, if you got a hot song that's popping, right, you're an up-and-coming rapper, say Playboy Cardi, and we are talking about Playboy Cardi, right, he got a track, Magnolia, okay, in New York, I'm Millie Rock, hiding in my sock, running from a op, okay, that shit is lit, he just sold 28,000 records first week, more than Wale, by the way, I'm just saying, okay, now, here's the thing, Tory Lanez, Tory LaFlame, basically wanted to do a remix to Magnolia. Now, he's done remixes to a lot of songs. He did a remix to Controller. He does a remix to everything. I got the keys he did a remix to. He wanted to do a remix, but the producer and Playboy Cardi wasn't with it. You know why they weren't with it? Because, motherfucker, my album just came out, okay? You doing a fucking remix is only promoting you, and it's really taking the focus off my fucking song, okay? My shit is already growing. Let that grow. Don't come over here and steal my wave. Now, with me saying that, Tory Lanez always, always bodies these remixes. Okay, always. Now, it really played across Instagram because you saw the producer and Playboy Cardi, they seem to be standing united, kind of just saying, wait, like, to be clear, we're not fucking with anybody remixing our song. They put up a video where Tory, where I, I play with Cardi and the producer, they held the middle fingers like, yo, don't remix our shit. Then they put up a text message seemingly from someone around uh, Tory Lanez. And by the way, that person contacted me, so I have more information on that later. Okay? But that person was asking the producer for the fucking instrumental. This is before, I'm guessing, Tory Lanez released his version. So they said, yo, Tory wanted to know if he could use the Magnolia instrumental and if you could send it to him. The producer kept it short and sweet. Can't do it. So if they told him, no, we ain't giving you the fucking beat. And then they look online and then Tory Lanez found a bootleg type beat or like some YouTube remake of the beat and rapped over it. They're mad. They are motherfucking mad. Okay. Now, a lot of people say they shouldn't be, but you have to understand from a new artist they got a hit song or somewhat of a song that's kind of pushing their movement. Album just came out. They don't want nobody sharking up their wave. And that's the, I guess, good and bad thing with remixing. Because a lot of times when it comes to remixing, it really stands a chance to outshine the original project, right? Remember Wayne used to be doing that shit? Except Wayne just really was just so lit. Wayne would remix your song and nobody wanted to hear your song anymore. Think about it. Wayne does a remix to your motherfucking song that was gaining some traction. Soon as his remix drops, nobody wants to hear your fucking version. And your version is the original. So that's how I understand why Playboy Cardi is mad. Uh, I think them kind of just being very public and blasting each other like that isn't that cool. However, maybe Playboy Cardi and his producer probably thought, yo, y'all hit us in private. We said no, and y'all still went ahead and did it and just dropped it. So we got to let y'all know how we feel in public. You guys be the judge, okay? Do you think that's a leech-ass move, a sucker move by Tory Lanez? Or do you think that Playboy Cardi and his producer are in their fucking feelings, okay? And they should get over it because people remix shit all the fucking time, okay? Or do parodies, okay? Get in the comments, guys. Like them, subscribe to Jackie Demix. I'm up.